Spurgeon here with Revzilla TV to talk to you about the Scorpion Bixby glove available at Revzilla.com. So the Bixby glove is going to be new for 2015 and this is going to be a nice urban style, really cafe-esque in its inspiration for this piece. So if you're out there rocking a cafe racer, a cruiser or a chopper, this is going to be a really nice clean plain glove for you to wear. Now as far as sizing is concerned with the Scorpion gloves, I'm going to be one size smaller than my European brand. So if I'm typically a 2XL and something like Dionysia or Revit, with Scorpion I'm going to size down to an XL and it's going to fit me pretty much spot on. Now as far as sizing is concerned, keep in mind you're going to range from a small up to a 3XL and as far as colorways are concerned, you're going to see I'm rocking the nice brown version with the black palm to it and there is a full black version for you as well. Now, Scorpion is really one of those companies that we like because they make products for a wide variety of different types of motorcyclists out there. With the Bixby glove, they're really going to be getting into that urban set, something for you cafe racers. Really nice and stylish design to give you a really cool look to it, but there is functionality and comfort with a full goat skin body built in. Now, if you want to move to something more protective, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to give up the style that the Bixby is going to give you. So consider something like the SG3. That's really going to be the step up from this as far as protection is concerned, but you are going to sacrifice the style of the Bixby. Now, let's take a look at this and we're going to break it down. First and foremost, you're going to have full goat skin leather throughout the entire construction of this. Working its way from the back, you're going to have a single wrist closure, really light branding, just a small Scorpion S right at the closure on the cuff, and then you're going to have elastication, just giving you a little bit of that extra comfort and security as you work through this actual glove on the back. As you move into the hand, accordion stretch panels, when you're flexing your hand, you're going to really notice these working to give you the added comfort, and then when you work to the knuckles, they're not going to give you that big calf or that big racer X style plastic TPU knuckle on the back. Instead, they're going to do goat skin over top of a foam, a real dense foam, just to give you some added protection, but not detracting at all from the style. Now as we work our way through the bottom of the fingers, you're going to see a little bit of that foam playing its way through here, but you're also going to see a accordion stretch along the back of all four fingers, just adding to the overall flexibility and just slight perforation working its way on the tips of the fingers. Now on the pinky, we're going to use the pinky to transition over into the palm. The pinky is going to have reinforced leather all the way down the side. Again, that's your most, that's your most dire rather impact zone. So the chance of going down really the pinky is where you want the most protection. And then that double layering of leather is going to work its way over into the palm as well. One of the things I'm not really too sure why they did, there is a little bit of perforation here on the palm and the inner finger. That's not going to see too much ventilation. Most of the perforation we normally see is on the back. But just to keep in mind, there is a little bit of perforation here just to kind of help maybe pull some of the sweat away from your skin in those really hot situations. The other thing to note is that there is going to be an E-touch fingertip with your three main fingers on this, your middle finger, your index, and your thumb. Now one of the things I noticed when I was playing with my phone, these two fingers, you really have to flat finger them so you can't use the tips of them, but I found that the thumbs probably work the best. So if you're, if you're working your iPhone, the thumbs are really going to work for that E connectivity for the hand. But again, really nice little addition to this particular glove. When you're finishing it out, working its way through the palm, again, slight elastication around the wrist and really light branding. I don't, know, I don't even know if you can see it on the camera, but really light branding at the wrist just says Scorpion ever so slightly. They really did a good job of sticking with the overall style for the Bixby to give you around the $80 price point. A really nice glove matches the style. And again, with the full goat skin leather on this particular piece, you're going to get the comfort and tactile feel that you're not going to get from something like a bovine leather. There's a lot of folks out there rocking Scorpion gloves. If you want to hear more about what they have to say, do me a favor, click the info button, read what other riders are digging about the Scorpion gloves they're rocking on their rides. If you have more questions for us, never hesitate, get us on the phone, give us a call, 877-792-9455, or simply type us out an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Scorpion Bixby gloves. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.